Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo na lang. Lakad mo na to. And uh, you need a hero to get on top of Tinker. They're gonna go the Void Spirit, not Storm. For Dolphin. Maybe Storm was banned, I'm not sure. Oops. Ooh, good arrow. Will allows him to get Fontek pretty low and it's gonna be first blood for Lepra. Really nice attack and at the same time in the bottom lane, they managed to find a kill on Tiny as well. John might be a little bit at... Oh, and an arrow connects. Just straight out outplaying the Disruptor. Mirana getting a kill here. Starstorm on Fonte as well as Axis is gonna be another two kills for the side of Cobbles. They definitely came here to play. Big hater of that. The way they changed Leech Seed, it's just so good in the early levels. And they also find Naga Lefram. Might be going down in the end. He will die to Disruptor, but Scotty will take the skill as well. He's just gonna go and chase. Does not have uh, access for another five seconds, but uh, soon he will be able to. One more hit, and it's gonna be a double kill for him. TZY uses Soul Siphon. Will not help him survive through that. And uh, an amazing does not get avalanched. Will max out Rocket Barrage, it seems, and they're going on the offensive, but well, Dolphin is here. That could be some trouble for John. They decide to concentrate on that instead. John will be the first to fall, though, and they kind of attack a couple of heroes at the same time. Dolphin could have just went straight for Astral Step on Gyrocopter, but decides against it. No level 6 on the Death Prophet yet, so it means they don't get a chance to uh, push as fast, but they do get a chance to perhaps kill Bat. Helios leaving the skill. Oh, using Avalanche to secure it, but it does. It wasn't ability. It's also attack speed, and that attack speed fully works in illusions. Dolphin, double astral step on Bat. Bat is max not living armor. Okay. Oh, and in the meantime, Disruptor with his level 6 just goes into the jungle and kills Nerican. Uh, Nerican for the last uh, 4 or 5 minutes. Not doing anything. And with with a Naga, with a late game drafted, sure, absolutely, like, it makes sense, but uh, it's not gonna make sense against better teams. Oh, a beautiful Static Storm and Kinetic Field, but ultimately it will lead to the demise of Disruptor. They will also find Tiny. Tiny is falling down pretty quickly. The Rocket will not find another target, but they will be able to use a Kinetic Storm, use Static Field, and just try to turn the fight around. Easy why? is understandably hesitant uh, in using his ultimate this early. Uh, he wants level 12 before. Uh, will eat an arrow, <laughs> but... Oh, tree protection actually initiates here, and TZY is in a really tough spot. He uses silence, but the uh, beautiful toss back will maybe allow him to disengage. Spirit Vessel is working, and a laser comes out in a really good time. Netican now sees Helios. Helios is gonna be a second kill for this Tinker, and they are following. Dolphin is disengaging, using Remnant to catch driver copter but i don't think anyone no moonlight shadow uh i don't think scotty is quite here yet uh but they do see helios and the exorcism comes out oh once again beautiful play by disruptor but it's being turned around by everyone bat is just using overgrowth and does not allow anyone to have any impact in this fight and john he's just going forward he's just hitting people a roar towards uh, Tiny, Tiny is gonna die, John double kill, they did find the, uh, the Tinker in the back lines, and now Fonte, he joins the fight, he goes on the offensive, he tries to take down Tree Protector, he will get a triple kill, and John has to run away, he has Aegis, sure, but is it gonna be enough, TZY trying to, to chase him down with the Song of the Siren going, but yeah, that was a little, going high ground into the enemy triangle area, a bit uh, aggressive, uh, but he still has his uh, ages for another 50 seconds and will try to trade it. A song coming out. Uh, TP cancelled. That, that's a good thing. That they cancel TP. Gyro, though, he gets completely isolated. He will lose his ages without doing all that much. Scotty is here, though. He wants to help. He gets silenced and a stun immediately onto this Gyro. He's being cut down. He, they will burst him down. They will kill him. Overgrowth, but a little bit too late. Netican now in the vision. Netican does not get blink out in time. And Fonte, he now gets to hit Tinker. And Tinker is that Fonte with a double kill. Chasing forward. They see Helios. Helios with a beautiful 
Sun, they see two and they kill Mirana with Glimpse and they will cut down the second support of Cobalt. Moonlight Shadow once again, they see real Naga in the bottom lane. Tinker is already TPing in. He might try to bait Naga in. Oh, they see him, they see him, but they don't know it's a real one. Do they? Okay, yes, they find the real one. Everything is thrown in this Naga. They can chain stun him and Naga, what a misplay by Fonte. Mega kill going the way of Scotty. And a bit of a... But, you know, it could be a little costly because they don't have Glimpse anymore. Dolphin jumping onto the... Dragon, Arrow of the Mark. Oh, they see Bat, and Bat is probably dead. They use Moonlight Shadow to try and save their own teammate, but it's not gonna be enough. Dolphin is on Omega Kill Spreak. TZY will get rooted, but it's not a stun, so I don't think anyone's gonna commit. Now, John in a bad position gets ensnared, has to use his ultimate, will eat the remnant as well. John does not get a chance to press his BKB quite yet, presses it now. Helios, oh, they. They used ultimate on TZY, so he will not be able to help, but Helios will die in the end, but John, his BKB is running off, and once his BKB is over, I think he's just dead. Nice Static Storm, Medikan, though, he has his BKB, he's trying to deal damage, he's trying to go forward, but there is just not enough in his tank to deal with Fonte and his heart. He just doesn't care, like, on the stack, Levram will go down in the Static Field, nothing's gonna save him. It's just gonna be a freebie bat use overgrowth for no apparent reasons. He's gonna get chased down. Uh, Netican, he was trying to find Tinker, was not able to do so. They will isolate two targets. Uh, Disruptor is here, and he's gonna use all of his abilities. But I, I think uh, it doesn't matter that they press BKB on the side of Bobbles, because Naga, she's just ready to rumble. Fontezo is a little bit scared, knows that he has the protection of his Heart of Wrath, so it doesn't matter that the enemy is focused him, and there is no more mana on Tinker, and that means that it's time to re-engage. It's time to go back for this BKB lane. They see Lepram. Decide against committing to it, but they also see John. He gets ensnared, has to press his BKB. Nothing can stop him in his BKB, but he can't really fight anymore. Dolphin, in the meantime, he cuts down Lepram. A shadow used. And the sleep comes out. This Disruptor coming forward, does he have a... Oh, he has Aghanims, oh yeah, that, 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 that's game over. Nobody can press anything, BKB is done. They try to cut down Gyro, Gyro will be dead soon. He, he's been feared up, will have to buy back, will buy back. Now in the meantime, Helios is under some pressure, but they are going for him on Skadi. Skadi survives through the ultimate of Disruptor, and they did kill Disruptor, and they will kill Tiny. They are now focusing down on Naga. They try to do something with this Naga, but Naga, she doesn't feel anyone. She's just fighting against John. She will kill him down. It's a dieback for John, but Netican got a double kill. He's ready to chase he's ready to rumble fonte has a second life for 45 extra seconds will die once has bkb if he needs it has midas and i think you have to disengage if you're cobbles but no they're trying for it they're going with a stun now levram it's it's a stun of his own and will just die no Netican. Jumping forward, proxy Eon Disc on Dolphin, so Dolphin has to wait a little bit longer. Fonte does try to find Netican, but he will not be able to do so. Netican just dancing beautifully around it. But you can dance all you want. The pros. Netican is doing a lot of work in this engagement. But I have to say, Fonte, he just doesn't feel people. And that, that's the big part of it. Goodness. Oh, in the bottom lane they also find Netican. He does have buyback. Helios engaging with the blink dagger and Dolphin just cutting down the stinker. Uh, he has to buy back. There is no way he doesn't buy back in a situation like this because Fonte he's already knocking on your doorstep. Leaving armor doesn't help. That was helpful while they were out of here. But now Naga she will work on the barracks. Uh, toss back on Scotty. Scotty has to use his roar on Tiny. Tiny might die back actually. Tiny getting quite a bit of damage will force stuff out and be fine in the meantime the mid barracks are all needs to be really careful with its usage understandably so because fonte has been dealing quite a bit of damage him they find for free they find bad for free and bad does not have buyback john gets ensnared does not want to use bkb does not use it does not need it to do it they are waiting out this exorcism as uh, the arrow does not connect and john he just goes forward under the moonlight shadow gets slapped up and disruptor is here he has his ultimate he has his agonims he cannot press his bkb anymore on this Gyrocopter, and he's just dead. Gyro doesn't have buyback, and Scotty will fall as well. He does have buyback, but it doesn't matter. They don't have damage, though Tinker is trying really hard. He will jump on top of this tiny, tiny will die. Netican, his BKB is very insane, but he will manage to TP out, out in time. It still doesn't matter. Fonte, he's just going for... Four seconds until Gyro. With this Gyro, they will try to give one more fight. Glyph is used. Fonte. Fonte doesn't... just He just tanks everything with his illusions. 
he just stands there, he's in sleep, going forward, oh no, you're eating way too much, you're eating way too much damage, Fonte using his BKB, I think he, he just played a little bit too greedy, why does he do that, I don't know, he almost dies here, but it, it doesn't matter, the Mega Creep's already done, they were just trying to style, the actually didn't manage to do that, and now TZY will fall down, Homin Missile going forward, as well as Netican, Netican is trying to chase somebody, but they do taunt the John Driver Copter, and he will be blown up, no back once again, Netican will cut down Disruptor in the back lines, but he will get caught himself, and Dolphin, he's ready for him, with the Remnant, Remnant's gonna miss, no, but it's gonna catch Bat in the back lines, it wasn't a miss, it was just a 9000 IQ play, and LBCS, they will force GG out, that was a beautiful game, an absolutely beautiful game by both teams and Cobbles. Even though they are currently winless in this tournament, I think for a game two... ...inside the wall and suddenly the enemy has this. The and they can go Nature's Prophet. Hmm. Are they gonna place him mid? Bad is taking Gyrocopter, so it's one Draw Ranger who is trying to get level 2. Might get first blood, but no. Um, for now, it's just a Photic Shield that's eating the damage. Slow comes out, and Netican, if he gets a last hit here, I think it's gonna be okay, but no, it's gonna be left from. Netican uh, will get a shield on himself as well, will try to block off that, and will try to kill him with double shields, and they are actually quite successful. Nice chains, but chains have been used, the Akam has been used already. Bat will try to at least do some damage, but now June is in a bad position, and he will die. He's why gets a double kill. It's a really good laning stage for LBZS and in the bottom lane possibilities for, for LBZS to make some itemization mistakes or just get the greedy. Let's not forget that. Netican is level 2. He's not even level 3 and it's 4 minutes into the game. A bit of an extension by Abaddon. Abaddon will get cut down by Netican. Gift him level 3. That means he finally gets a chance to in this lane just going behind the tower. Just getting some hits into the creeps. John is actually here. And there is a possibility of rotation from Nature's Prophet, if, if he wants it, but they might not even need it, because John is going forward, chains connecting onto two, and Nature's Prophet is here, they are trying to get TZY, and they will be successful, while this is happening in the bottom lane, they also get a kill on with this, morphing to TP in, Netican now boxed in, will have to use Gus soon, doesn't have a chance to do that well, only pushes out Morphling and he will die. He tries to deny himself the tower, but now the kill will go the way of Fonte. So Fonte will get some extra gold after dying. And the lead is once again back in the favor of LBZS with only Ember Spirit is straight away. But I think if he goes something like BKB and then eventually gets into Scotty, I, I think it could be great. Fonte gets gone on, just deleted by the cooldown and even Abaddon can, can save him, a rotation from Scotty as well, they find Abaddon and they kill him, they will be taking this tower in the bottom lane while TZY is trying to push in top, it's not gonna be renewed though, Levram, uh, Dusk is a little bit optimistic but a good vacuum into wall, they will find Scotty as well, oh he's getting dangerously low on the dolphin and he will die so it's a one for one trade, in the meantime Abaddon, his ultimate procs out but he needs to take damage to heal up and uh, will not be able to use his miss call in time. So the situation has already subsided and I don't think there is a clear winner here. So 1800 gold, he's gonna have this 15 minute shard. They also see Fonte, they throw everything at him. He manages to disengage, manages to stay alive for a little bit longer and being healed up. It's really helpful, they find Abaddon, his ultimate was already taken away by the Draw Ranger in the previous instance, so that means he goes down. A DD on Viper though doesn't help him at all, he is just going down to the physical damage, and Cobalt once again, they strike really fast. And they didn't take the ability, makes a lot of sense to me. I don't know how it doesn't make sense to anyone else. Cooldown is used, Helios. Oh, nice shards onto three, as well as <laughs> raise that and the, the net from the troll camp. But how do you fight? How do you fight this gyro? This is just stupid. And a nice slow and damage into two. Double kill and a mega kill for bad. He has enough. It delays your BKB and you usually will need BKB and or your King Pike on Drop Ranger. And it's not like you really need this Yasha. But it does accelerate your farm. They also find Viper. Viper. Doesn't have BKB, only has Ghost Shroud, and will get cut down by physical damage from Draw Ranger. While John also kills Darks here in the middle lane. Homing missile from Fonte on bad. 
is not as impressive as the one that's throwing at everybody. Uh, they also get rid of the ultimate on the baton and they root down this annoying task. They will get a double support kill and they try and form more Fonte go. They will find John. Uh, but they will try to concentrate on Bad instead, they understand who is the biggest problem, but but that he's just too good at four men call down, Duff is already dead, TZY is getting there, Nedikan is just in your face as Drum Ranger because he's not afraid of anything, he will cut down TZY, they will concentrate on Viper after that and Viper will be gone as well, Abaddon will be cut down shortly afterwards. And uh, that all started with them trying to go for this bad gyrocopter. In the meantime, they do find that they might actually finally kill him. He uses call down. He is soloing the whole team of LVZS, and he's actually almost victorious. He will go down in the end. The streak will go the way of Helios, but now the, the rest of the cobbles are here to clean up. They will get three, no, four kills. No, three kills. Okay, never mind. Darkseer manages to get out of here. Scotty tried to block him in with the trees but was not successful still that guys but this tier 2 tower is well and truly gone they all see dolphin as the ancient seal has been dispelled but really far forward jump from john he tries to find somebody a nice save but how long does it save dolphin for for a couple of seconds and now he is out of position himself john presses bkb goes, goes forward abaddon loses his ultimate will get stunned and they just keep on hitting him they don't care they can hit him they can kill him twice they can kill him five times it doesn't matter they have way too much damage especially with dd on john and now they will be taking this tier 3 tower and maybe even going forward because they see they see this poor Darkseer who is now dead a buyback from Tusk but what for it is not gonna change anything and Morphling cannot fight and they just press GG 24 minutes in Cobbles finally win the first game of this tournament for themselves and none not against anybody they win it against LBCS one of the tournament favorites that was